I finally finished building my own Suron X, saved a ton of money doing it, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it, exactly how much I spent, and show you exactly what I made selling the parts to give you the total, which is actually way less than I thought I could even do. So let's get started with the purchase of the bike. Now I started with a Segway X160 for $2,989, and you still can find this deal right here, boom. And this is the same exact bike as the Suron X or the Segway X260, except it has a smaller battery, smaller wheels and tires, and lighter weight forks. One of the coolest parts about doing this process is you save money. Second coolest is you get to pick a color. So I chose red, I really like that bike. If you buy a Suron X, then you're gonna get black. Now right now, a Suron X goes for $4,200, so that's a $1,200 difference right there. And the first thing I would do is buy the Suron X battery. That's just plug and play. You can drop this into the bike and drive it and have all the power of a Suron X or an X260 just like that. You can sell your battery from the X160 for $500 and buy a Suron X battery for $800. So that's a $300 difference. Right now, you're rolling with a $900 discount. And if you're a short rider and a light rider, like let's say you're a 17 year old kid who's not very tall, that's the perfect bike right there. You're honestly done. But I'm 6'1", I weigh a bit more. A lot of you guys watching probably fit in the same boat, so I will do the full process of turning this into a Suron X. Next thing you're gonna need if you go all the way is the dual clamp forks. Now, the Killas from the Suron X are super cheap. If you pay anything more than free, you're getting ripped off, they're terrible. If you're gonna be spending money anyways, and if you're gonna be off-road and really doing work with this bike, I would definitely recommend getting some dual clamp mountain bike forks they're really hard to get right now, but keep a look on Facebook, try to find something used, and that'll work way better. But if not, pay $100 for the Killas, and you're good to go on that front. Now the next major thing is the wheels. 19 inch wheels in the Suron X. You can buy these used, you can look on Facebook. You can probably find them for like 300 bucks, and then you could sell your 17s for at least 300 bucks. These are actually really popular for people buying Suron Xs, and trying to do super moto, they want the 17s, so you'll probably make money selling these, which is exactly what I did. I sold them for $100 more than I got the 19s for, so that's negative $100 to our total cost. So if you spent $100 for the Killas, now you've made $100 selling your 17s and got the 19s because you're tall like me, then you're still at a break even, $900 savings, you're out the door, you're done, you have a Suron X, and you get the lower gearing because the X160 comes with a 58 tooth sprocket, which would have cost you 65 bucks, 80 bucks for that upgrade later on if you could even find one for sale. So I think this is definitely the way to do it. A lot of people have issues with the controller or the motor, they think that it's different when really it totally works. It feels the exact same for the torque and just the overall power. And I haven't noticed any difference. I have both. I have the Suron X, I have the X160 that I built into a Suron X, and I have the 72 volt setup. And this feels like a Suron X. I mean, maybe there's a slight different in the motor. It technically has a different serial number, but it feels the same. So why spend close to $1,000 more than you have to and not get the color you want? This was a really good process. I really enjoyed it. I initially bought a Suron X controller. Turns out I didn't even need to do that. <laughs> so that was a waste of money, but I already had one, so it's all good. I'll probably just turn around and sell it or just keep it just in case one of my other controllers break. So that's my build. I saved about a thousand bucks. I'm gonna show you some footage of rallying it around the rally track. I also have links in the description for a bunch of Suron parts that I would recommend. Definitely check it out, rallying the way I configured. It works, and I saved some money. Couldn't be happier. All right, here we go. We're wide open. Let's get it. <laughs> Not quite. 
and that sound is just the tire hitting the fender. I just have to zip tie it harder down. This is the cheapest mountain bike fork that's dual clamp you can buy that these bikes come with. So that's what we're dealing with. Ooh, the rock pile will be perfect. Look at that. It's like we asked for. Bada boom. Thanks for checking it out. Hopefully I saved you some money, made you guys make some cool decisions. If you have the tools and the know-how, especially if you live in a city and you can get better deals on these parts and sell your parts more easily man that would be great definitely do that my next video is going to be the best saran upgrade for under 500 dollars so definitely subscribe and stick around to check that out and after that i'm going to do all of the first upgrades for sarans i'd recommend for under 100 dollars. so the next couple weeks are going to be really cool i'm going to try to do a video every week so look forward to that and let's see if I can't make some sweet videos. Also, the snow's coming, so I'm really excited to rally in the snow again. <laughs> I have a few videos riding bikes in the snow and older on my channel, but now that my bikes are all kitted out and awesome, I think that this winter season is gonna be really fun, especially if I get a snow bike kit from the Suron shop. So send the Suron shop a message, let them know, send Edwin, a snow bike kit because you want to see a high quality video of that thing shredding. <laughs> it's hard to predict the bumps. Yeah. I can go longer on the pavement even with this tire. Even if you just pop it past your balance point and then just slam on the brakes a few times, it kind of gets you a little more comfortable a little further back. 